I have like one cat eye and one smoosh. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a Magnus Bane inspired makeup tutorial. So today we're gonna to be doing a look inspired by some of the promotional photos from season one. I picked season one just because there was a little more glitter and a little more color in Magnus's makeup than in the later seasons. So I already got my foundation and my primer on just so that we could skip that step and let's get started with the rest of the face. So I'm gonna start with contour. So I have this stick from Hula Benefit and um, this is just the quickie contour stick. So what you're gonna do is just contour your cheeks. Um, this may vary based on your face shape, but I'm just gonna go in right under the cheekbone to about the corner of my eye, just like that. Then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. Just so it looks natural and not like you just painted a stripe down your face. All right, now you can take the contour that's on that beauty blender and just put a little up here and in your hairline. You can also use a powder for this, but I just like using a stick when I'm not doing like a ton, a ton of contour. All right, now let's get started on the highlight. Now I have this really pretty highlight sample from Becca in the color Opal. Magnus has a lot of like gold highlights. Um, they don't put as much highlighter on him now as they used to, but he has that really bronzy look. So I'm going to use this gold color and I'm just gonna put it on my brush. Mine's a little bit broken, uh, but it you know usually doesn't work quite this way. So tap off the excess and then you're just gonna go in on your cheekbones. and on the top of your nose, a little bit across the forehead. And I like to do a little bit under my eyes just to brighten up the eye area, but depending on your face shape, you may not have to do this. I just think it gives it a little more glow, a little more of that like Magnus and magical touch. All right, now take a big fluffy blush brush and we're just gonna go lightly over that just to blend out any excess that fell in the wrong spot. All right, now that's it for your face. We're gonna move on to your eyes. Now I have a special eye primer from Jordan Cosmetics, which is the same brand that the Shadow Hunters get their room paper from. So I'm just gonna put that primer all over my lid. And this stuff dries fairly quickly. Um, it's like glycerin based and you don't need a lot of it. I accidentally just put too much on. So just go on your lid, slightly into the crease. I can hear that. All right, now I'm going to take my Naked Smoky palette and I'm going to use the color Dagger and we're just gonna put that all over the lid. Just do a light coat. You're not trying to get this too dark. This is just gonna serve as a base for the other blue color we're using. Now, if it's a little messy like mine, that's okay because we are gonna smoke this out. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a brush and just get a tiny bit more of that same primer and we're just gonna put it over top of that eyeshadow. Gently dab it on. You don't want to take the makeup off that you just put on your lid. Now, one lid at a time, we're gonna take this loose shimmer powder from Jordan Cosmetics in color 011014, and we're just gonna pat that shimmer over top of our blue shadow. All right, now we're gonna repeat the process on the other eye. All 
All right, now if it's a little uneven, that's okay. Usually one of my eyes takes a little more eyeshadow than the other to make it look the same. So mine are a tiny bit uneven, but that'll be fixed when we smoke it out. All right, so now we're gonna go back to that dagger color, and we're just gonna draw in that little cat eye that he has in shadow. Now this might change depending on your face shape, and my face shape makes it really hard to do this, so we're gonna see how this turns out. But I'm gonna start out here, right about the corner of my eye, and put a little dot, and then I'm gonna work my way backwards, just to get the shape that I want. And then just blend into your crease. All right, now let's do the same on the other side. All right, so now we're gonna take this color called Slanted, and we're just gonna put it over top of our lid across the brow bone and above where we smoked out that middle. If you don't like the shape of your cat eye, you can definitely blend it out a little here just to make it a little bit softer. All right, now fix those crazy looking eyebrows and we'll move on to eyeliner. All right, so if you need to touch up your wings after you've done that, you can just go in and add a little more powder, which is what I did. Just added a tiny bit more to the wings. So now we're going to take a relatively flat brush or a sharp brush, whichever you prefer, and we're going to line our under eyes with the same color eyeshadow that we just put on our lid. So let's go in with dagger, and you're just gonna go around the bottom waterline. All right, now you could also choose to use a liner to line the waterline in your eyes, but since I have really sensitive eyes, I think I'm gonna skip that for today. All right, now to give it that extra little bit of pop, I'm going to take the color Armor from the Smoky palette, and I'm just gonna put it in the corners of my eyes to give it that extra little glitter. And then I'm gonna take that same flat brush and put it over top of the line we just drew. All right, now Magnus has some pretty strong eyebrows, so I'm just going to take the color Whiskey from my Smoky palette and use it as a brow powder. Now, you don't have to do this step, you could easily skip it, but I like strong brows anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this step in for me. All right, now it's time for mascara. All right, so for the mascara, I'm going to be using this sample I got of the Tardiest Lash Paint. It kind of gives you that look of falsies without having to put them on, so I really like this. So just go ahead and coat your top and your bottom lashes with this. All right, now we're gonna go in with some liquid liner. I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner just because um, I like how it handles and it's not that expensive. Now, I like to do this after my mascara's dried just because I can follow the line of my lashes and instead of having like some weird line, it just naturally follows the curve of my eye. So you don't need too much of this. He doesn't wear as much in season one as he does in season two. So we're just gonna do a little bit. All right, now like I said, you can do your waterline if you want, but since my eyes are so sensitive, I'm just gonna leave it off for right now since I'm not doing a cosplay. Okay, now onto the lips. Now in season one, Magnus Bane has a fairly light lip color, honestly. So it's just kind of skin colored, maybe a little darker. So I'm going with this wonderful lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Fudge.
All right, and that's all there is to it. You now have your Magnus Bane inspired makeup look. All right, now if you're wondering where I got any of the products that I used in this video, I made sure to put the links below in the description so you guys can find them as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's Nephilim Necessities video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the little subscribe button, and if you want to be notified every time I put up a new Shadowhunter video, hit the little bell icon to stay updated with me. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye.